All right, watching Wall Street. And uh, right now, the Dow Jones Industrial Average down eight points after hitting another record high yesterday. The Dow at 15,267. Our financial expert, Rob Black, here talking numbers. And uh, we had San Jose Bay Cisco uh, with uh, some decent quarterly results after the closing bell yesterday. And they weren't supposed to be decent results because the sequestration was taking government contracts away. What we have with Cisco Systems is data. And data's huge. We're watching a lot of television. We're watching a lot of videos. Um, they've moved from being a server company to being a cloud company. Bam, like that. They did a great job. I pity Juniper Networks, companies that aren't able to move as well as Cisco Systems has. Um, they're leading the Dow higher uh, today. Uh, they're doing well, but the Dow is lower today, so excuse my it would have been worse, there. I guess, right? Exactly. The Dow, uh, right now, we're seeing uh, Cisco's up 13%, so the Dow, we'd be a lot worse right now if not for Cisco. And on the other hand, Walmart is leading the Dow a little bit lower this morning, in large part because they had okay sales. They said weather kind of hindered things. Uh, they weren't able to raise prices as much as they wanted to on groceries. There, so there's grocery deflation, so their sales actually went a little bit lower. Um, internationally, they did fine. Walmart had a great quarter except for weather. But what was reported was Walmart had a quarter where they missed sales and they missed earnings. So typically, you buy Walmart when they miss because of weather because they are 20% of shopping in the United States. So take out $5 bills, one of them automatically goes to Walmart as far as shopping shopping inside the United States. So, so they're not going anywhere. So with a one and a half percent dip today, good time to buy Walmart maybe if you're gonna get a little Walmart stock today. If you're a long-term patient investor, okay. they did $113 billion in sales this quarter. Wow. I mean, they're, they're huge. Yeah, they're 20% well, of retail. One well, thing that hit me about Cisco was that they added another billion in cash. They've got $47.7 billion in cash right now. And I'm amazed by how much cash companies are hoarding. What are they waiting for? Why are they sitting on it? A lot of it's international. Oh, okay. Um, they're probably waiting for a repatriation into the United States uh, without paying taxes. It happened once under the Bush administration. Maybe if the yeah. Obama administration administration wants to stimulate the economy, he says, okay, you could repatriate cash, Apple, Cisco, Intel, not pay the 20 to 30 percent taxes on it, give it to shareholders, we'll spend it, give it to the, you know, build a new building, and we'll, we'll you know, help our economy. So probably a repatriation. But you said it yesterday, you said that on paper it looks like a great company. Yeah. A lot of these tech giants, John Chambers and Cisco, <clears throat> excuse me, included are having problems with they look great on balance paper on, yeah. <laughs> on paper but they're having a tough time growing cisco's in a good problem because they are data and video continues more and more data continues to get generated okay like that 47.7 billion in cash too right thank you rob oh check back with rob at 9 15 for our winners and losers on wall street daria and